Hi everyone. In this video we're going to look at how to set up a one-page website with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. Let's start by viewing a one-page website and seeing how it works. I'm on the front end of the resume pre-built site here. And as you can see, the menu links scroll us down to a place on the same page rather than opening a new page. In this way, one-page sites let you consolidate all your site information into one page that is split into multiple sections. There are both advantages and disadvantages of this approach, so read up on the pros and cons. I'll leave a link in the description. But if you decide you want to create a one-page site, Avada gives you the flexibility needed to do this, and also provides several pre-built one-page websites like this one to get started with. If I look at the other Avada pre-built sites and filter to one page, you can see we actually provide 10 examples of one-page sites for you to explore. So what are the necessary components of a one-page site? Let's go to the resume pre-built site open in Avada Live and have a look. The first thing is with the content. As your users will be scrolling down the page to various sections with menu links, it's important to make these sections separate and easy to navigate to. The first part is simple. With your content, the easiest approach is just to make your various sections each in their own container. As we scroll down the page, you can see that each section of content is in its own container. This keeps the sections clearly separated from each other. The next part is that they must be easy to navigate to. This is easily handled by the name of menu anchor option in the container element. If we just edit the clients container here, we can see it has an anchor name of clients in the name of menu anchor option. This allows the menu navigation to scroll directly to the start of this section of the page. Each section container has a unique name of menu anchor inserted. Instead of the name of menu anchor option, you can also use a menu anchor element if you prefer, which allows you to navigate to anywhere on the page, including within a container. But in most cases the name of menu anchor option will be the easy choice. Ok, so we have our content and we have our anchors inserted. Now we need a menu to navigate to the various sections of the page. Let's look at the menu used here. If we look at all the menu items, we can see they are all custom links. They don't link to the page at all, just to a specific section. This is called a relative link. Relative links only work on the page the sections are on, which works just fine on a one-page site. To make one of these, you just add a custom link. The URL is just a hashtag followed by the section name, and whatever name you want to display on the menu item. This menu has links to all the sections on the page. So that's the menu. Now it has to be assigned. If your site is using Avada Layouts and a custom header as this site is, then all you need to do is edit the Header Layout section. I'll just mouse over the menu here, and control click on Edit Header Layout section to open that in a new tab. And then the menu is simply assigned in the menu element. If you're not yet using Avada Layouts, then you assign the menu display location back in the actual menu, at the bottom of the menu page here, and it will show in the header you have selected in the global options. For most flexibility, use Avada Layouts. Follow the link below the video to learn about that specific builder feature. Ok, so if we go back to the front end of this site, we can again see when we click on a link in the menu, it scrolls smoothly to the section on the page we want. That's a one page site. One thing to remember is that with a one page site, you generally want your header to be a side or sticky header, so you always have your navigation at hand. Now let's ramp it up a bit. What about if you want the functionality of a one page site on one page, but want other pages on the site as well? Perhaps you have a shop, or you just want one particular page of your site to act in this fashion. That's when absolute links come in. To illustrate, let's imagine that Johnny here now works for Avada Creative, and wants to link to his own page with the one page navigation on their multi page site. Let's look at how that would work. I've imported the Creative pre built site. And to start off, I'll just add the link to Johnny's page. There's not really a good spot to add it to in the main menu, so instead I'm just going to add it here on the About page. I've changed out the picture here to one of Johnny, and now I want to add a button at the bottom of the image. To keep it aligned with the other images on the page, I want the button to overlay the image. So I'll add a 1 1 nested column after the image here, and edit the nested column, and give it minus 42 pixels top margin. 
Now I'll add my button in here. I'll link it to a page called More About Smooth, which I've already created. And I'll call it More About Me. On the Design tab, I will set the button border radius to 0 pixels all around, and set the span to Yes. Yeah, that looks good. Essentially though, that's just a simple link to a page. So this could be in the main menu, or anywhere else on the site. Let's save this page and now go add some content to the page I created for Johnny. For content, I'm going to import the One Page Resume site. To do that, I'll go to the Avada library, which we can use to import individual pages from any of the pre-built sites. I'll just filter to One Page Sites, and select the Resume site. And as there is only one page on that pre-built, that's the one I want to import. The content of this page is then imported, including the page template, all page options, and all the images. It doesn't import the menu or the global options, only the page content. This takes just a few seconds, and my page loads with the new content. Awesome! Now importing a single page into another site will mean that there will be some styling differences, as any option that was being pulled from global options is now pulling from this site's global options. For example, note how the buttons are a different colour and style from the standalone pre-built. But of course, I want the styling to match this site, so this is a bonus. And here I only need to fix any obvious styling issues I find on this page. These will mostly be the titles here, as they are pulling various dark and light colours. I'll just go quickly through this page and fix it up. OK, now the page is how I want it to be. At the top, we can still see we have the Creative Pre-built Site main menu here, so the next step is to create a new menu to navigate to the page sections, and then assign it to just this page. So I'll go to the WordPress menu page, and create a new menu. I'll call this one Resume, and create it. You can get plugins to copy menus etc, but this is a very simple menu to recreate. Unlike the original menu on the Resume pre-built site, here I will start with an absolute link, back to the Creative homepage. So this will just be a normal page link. I'll find the home page, and add it to the menu. And I'll just change the navigation label to Home. OK, all the other links, however, are going to be relative links to the various sections of the page. I'll go to Custom Links, and start with the first one. Hashtag About, and give it a navigation label of About. The next one is Hashtag Work, and the label will just be Work. I'll just quickly make the others in the same way as this. OK, so there's our menu, with the one absolute link linking back to the site homepage, and a whole bunch of relative links to the various page sections. I'll just save that. Now we have to assign this to our header. To do this, we need a new layout just for this page. I'll move over to Avada Layouts and create a new layout called Resume. I'll set the conditions on this layout, so that it is only used on the Resume page. As I have another layout here that has the condition of all pages, in this case I also need to exclude the Resume page from that layout. OK, that's the layout. Now for the Header Layout section. Instead of reinventing the wheel, I'll use the alternate header as a template for my new header. I'll create a new Header Layout section here called Johnny Header, and go to Avada Live as my preferred builder. Now I'll just go to the library, where I've saved a copy of the alternate header, and I'll insert that into my layout section. I want this header to be transparent initially, but as it's for one page content, I also want it to be sticky. So I'll edit the container, and head to the Extras tab, and set the Position Sticky option to On. I'll also set the Sticky Container Background Color to Color 8, so when it becomes sticky, it also gets a background color. And of course I also need to set my one page menu. I'll just edit the menu element, and set the element to pull the Resume menu. OK, let's save that. To assign a different menu to a page when not using Avada Layouts, you simply use the Avada Page Options instead. That's a lot easier in one way, but of course with that method you can't change its appearance at all, and the options are very limited. With Avada Layouts, you have full freedom. Anyway, let's now go back to the About page, and load the front end. When it loads, I'll just scroll down, and there we can see the link to Johnny's page. Let's open that. It loads with the imported page content and the unique menu. When we click on any of the section links in the menu, we can see it scrolls down to that section of the page, and the header goes sticky. 
We can scroll around to various parts of the page with these menu links. And this page, as we see, is working completely as a one-page site. And if I click on the Return to Top link, and then click on the Home link, this takes us back to the Creative Site homepage. OK, how's that? One-page websites are easy to create in Avada, and even mixing one-page functionality in with a multi-page site isn't hard when you know how. The key is understanding the difference between relative and absolute links. OK, this concludes our video on how to set up a one-page website with Avada. Thanks for watching. Let us know how you've made use of one-page functionality on your website. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.